It took a while, but the new Elden Ring DLC trailer is finally here, and the release date is set for June 21st, 2024. After years of waiting, we've been treated to a new gameplay trailer featuring bosses, maps, and more. Being a from software trailer, it's packed with hidden details and secrets. Today, I want to discuss some of these secrets, details, references, and theories surrounding the trailer with all of you. Feel free to comment below if you've found anything else or have your own theories to share. So, let's hear your opinions and thoughts in the comments. To start this video, I want to address the main theme. Mesmer or Mikella? Who could he be? In the scene where Mesmer appears in a room, which might be the location of our battle against him, you'll notice a statue of Marika in the background. Keep this detail in mind, as it's important. Interestingly, the statue of Marika is in a different position than what we've seen before in Elden Ring, and it appears she's holding a child in her arms. This leads to many theories and possibilities, especially considering the official information that the Shadow Isle, where the DLC takes place, is the location where Marika first stepped when she arrived in the Lands Between. However, this doesn't necessarily mean the DLC occurs at that exact moment. It's just a significant location. As I mentioned, the Mesmer's identity has sparked discussions, and some believe he might be Mikella and Melania's brother, or even Mikella himself in my opinion. This suggests that he could be the son of Marika and Radagon. During the trailer, Mesmer says, Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? It's unclear who this mother is, adding to the theory's credibility. Additionally, some in-game drop items in the base Elden Ring game, such as butterflies related to Millennia and Mikella, and a new butterfly with flaming wings in the DLC trailer, support the idea that Mesmer might be another sibling. Remember, these are still just theories about the possible connection between the three siblings, and have not been confirmed. To sum up, it seems plausible that these three characters are siblings, and there's a possibility that Mesmer's connection to Radagon and Marika could be as their son. The red hair and the similarities in their appearances could support this theory. There's also a chance that Mesmer has a connection to Rykard, as both characters have serpent-like elements and use a spear. The fact that Mesmer is seated on a throne that resembles those of the demigods in the base game further suggests his connection to these characters. However, the big question remains. Is Mesmer the son of Radagon and Marika? Does he have a connection to Rykard? Is he Millennia's brother? Or is he Mikella himself? We can only find out for sure when the DLC is released, but based on the trailer we've seen, we can make some educated guesses about Mesmer's identity and his relationships with the other characters in the game. Another interesting aspect of the DLC trailer is the image of a veil that falls over the entire map, possibly indicating that the Shadow Isles, where the DLC takes place, are not visible to those outside of this cover. Additionally, this veil demarcates the area where players will be able to explore during gameplay, Adding to the visual intrigue, this veil also bears a resemblance to the Queen's bedchamber in the base game, contributing to the overall aesthetic. An intriguing frame from the trailer features an old man with a woman by his side, touching his shoulder. This woman bears a resemblance to Fia from the base game. Later in the trailer, the same man appears monstrous and seemingly deceased, removing his spine to use as a sword. The similarity in clothing and appearance indicates that this man is indeed the same character from the painting. It's unclear if the woman in the painting has a connection to Fia or if she is pregnant, but it's possible that she may be a boss within the DLC. Another fascinating frame showcases a mysterious man resembling a Carrion character. While some initially mistook him for Renala, it appears he is a male character. This man bears a striking resemblance to a figure on an item in the base game, a Carrion vial. Given the similarities between this man and the Carrion character, there might be a connection between them that will be explained further in the DLC. Another exciting detail we saw in the trailer is the potential for a new class or abilities, as it shows the character using kicks and punches, which is a new addition to the game. It's unclear if these abilities are tied to an equipped item or a new class. We also see another character throwing an exploding jar or stone suggesting that there might be new weapons, bombs, or other items introduced in the DLC. The final image in the trailer seems to show Marika with her iconic blonde hair and braids, resembling the initial Elden Ring teaser image. This could imply that she may be the final boss of the DLC. Additionally, the trailer includes references to Berserk, acknowledging the connection between game director Miyazaki and manga artist Kentaro Miura. One character, Mesmer, bears a strong resemblance to Berserk's Grunbeld, 
particularly in terms of the helmet design. The trailer also hints at the player character exploring underground locations, potentially introducing new maps and areas to the DLC. It's been confirmed that to access the DLC, players must defeat Moog and then interact with Mikella's arm on the table after the battle. The connections between Melania, Mikella, and Mog could be explored further in the DLC. These details and secrets were uncovered from the Elden Ring DLC trailer. And while there is still much to speculate about, it's an exciting time for fans as the DLC release approaches. Feel free to share any information or theories you have in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video, and stay tuned for more content on this channel.